Okay, so my four inch piece, my three inch piece, my three inch circle, I'm gonna center it on here. I know that I've got about a half inch on each end. Um, so I'm gonna put that down there and just lay it down. Okay, just, this is just a template. So I'm gonna take my marker or my pencil and I'm going to trace around it real quick. Like, oh, there we go, like that. Tracing around, tracing around. Walking the mile. Walking the mile. There we go. Okay, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this back off. So w with this, if you've got um, ATG gun, use that. It's something not so expensive to, to do that with. So just do that, okay? And then trace around it, and then I'm gonna grab my craft knife. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna score lightly. I need my glasses, here we go. Um, I wanna score around the black line lightly. Um, like that just lightly first and then go deeper and deeper and deeper into the grooves but this will help you kind of get started here so like that So that black uh, uh, piece of cardstock is really a cool way to just kind of go ahead and get uh, a template started for um, your top. I mean, for your face. So I'm going a little bit deeper now. I think I am. Market uh, was good. Um, got back today. Couldn't wait to get back in here and start crafting again. Got home. You know how when you're driving, all you can think about is just how tired you get. <laughs> and I took, came home and took a nap, and now I am ready to rock. So, I'm go back through one more time. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm not worried about the edges yet. I'm going to sand those suckers down. Um, anyway, the, the Michaels, you, you know, if you read my blog, Michaels was having a convention at uh, the Anatole where I was staying, and I tell you what, there are a lot of them. I mean, hundreds! Hundreds! So that's the center part, okay? And see all these little nubs? I've got to sand those down. But that's basically the start of your panorama. There we are. Okay? So um, that was one step. The other step is on your circles. Go ahead and make one for the bottom. And you want your inside circle to be around, oh, let's do three and five eighths. So inside, you're gonna need one three and five eighths inch circle. <clears throat> Excuse me. One for the top here, for the top inside. So you need two of those. And then um, for your outside piece, we, we're going to cut a four inch piece. Oh, I can't remember. I think it's around 12 inches. I think. 12 inches. You can let it wrap over. And then um, the inside, you don't need to cover the whole wall of the inside that you can see, you can't see. You can see right there where I didn't need to cover the whole thing, okay? Um, once again, for this outside cover, if you take your piece and cut the 4-inch strip by whatever, it may be 10 inches, 10 or 12. Um, find the center of your sheet, right? Put your template back down that you used before. Keep it on hand. Put it in the center. Um, half inch up, half inch down, right? Because the, the we this is a 3-inch circle. We know the length is 4 inches. We're going to put it half inch up from the bottom half inch in from the bottom half inch up from the top half inch up half inch up sorry half inch down from the top a half inch up from the bottom 
center this in the center and then do your pin around it right and then mark it with your pin and then go in and and cut it with your craft knife around and then you're going to apply um, score tape or adhesive or um, your creotopia or, or uh, xyron material to the back of that and then place it on top of it start here in the center first line it up and then wrap it around each side and if it wraps in the back totally cool okay so that is the outside and the inside once again for the top i flip the lid now so i flip the lid for this is the top we talked about making maybe two sheets of uh, round uh, uh, chipboard for this, the center. You would want to make it oh, around three, maybe three and a half, a little bit less than three and a half um, to fit on the bottom part here. Here, so put two of those together, and then put your uh, cream cardstock on top of that, right? But go ahead and paint everything first, black, uh, inside and out, uh, in your little 4x4 uh, four four box, sorry, 2x2 two two box. And then you're going to take this and you're going to glue it to the top of that in the center, this way, uh, glue around the edges here and then set it down in the center. Then put your little finial on the top of that. Then go with your paper, I would probably go with the paper first, cover it with paper, uh, punched on the center like I did here. I'm going to pull the top knot off. So, um, once again, I use the Fisker's Punch. This is awfully dark. So, um, Fisker's Punch around the edge, put it on, and then cover the top. Put your finial, glue your finial to the top of that. Okay, so that's that. Like that. Okay, my hair, my hand's in the way. Like that. And then, um, that's it. Okay. And then you glue your feet so that that fits on the top. You uh, glue your feet to the bottom, and you're fitting it on top, and that's it. And you just use your your punch to um, cover the top portion of the edge of this rim, and um, stick your pieces in, place your pieces in. And once again, I've used. Um, you can't see it. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light over here. Um, you got uh, a, just a tree or something three-dimensional for there. Your tea light goes in the background. Your little twig goes here. <clears throat> I did serpentine that little fence. And then your little person goes in the front so she peeks through. Okay? So that's that easy. That was quick and easy, really. Um, once again, if you want to add another box, you can. Uh, this is another lid I used on the bottom. Um, total total waste if you if you I just wanted the height I wanted a little bit more height it doesn't need it I mean this is perfectly fine and then put your little legs on I just wanted a little skirt okay back to this though take an emery board somewhere 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 well I can't find it because I've got too much stuff in this but anyway if you'll take an emery board and just sand down this or a little piece of sandpaper and sand, sand down the edges and then once again you are going to paint all this black first so paint black everything black first your finial glued together and then on on here <clears throat> and separate pieces and then um once you punch the paper do that first punch your paper put it on here then place your your top piece of paper which is right there this piece on top of that glue your finial to the top of it Glue then, glue the circle piece inside there. Glue this whole unit into, into the top. Cover the sides with paper. Cut this piece out if you would like to have it, okay? And then lastly, take our little top knot piece, which I used um, the crepe paper again, the ribbon from Xander, my friend Xander, who's always fabulous at finding stuff and one of the uh, Graphic 45 chipboard pieces, little, one of the little tags, and I put that in there, and what I'll do soon is I'll just glue that to the top portion and let that all hang kind of out and down. So that's kind of the top of that, like that, okay? So that's that. And then glue your feet on the bottom once they're painted, and um, 
it's really that easy. So it just makes a fun decoration for Halloween and it's very effective. I'm gonna shock the lights one more time and give y'all a, a view of the spooky lady, witch, girl. And that's that. Okay, so thanks for joining me tonight. That's how that's made. And I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing how this was created. I've had a ball doing it. I can't wait to make some more. I really can. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, have a good one. Oh, by the way, I was going to say, in Graphic 45's collection of papers, they've got a blue star um, paper. It's got a blue background with, with white stars. Think how cool that would be in the background cut out the, the little stars, use that in the background, put the tea light behind it, and have the light come up through those stars. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be neat. So anyway, that's how that's made, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Y'all have a good night, and I'm glad to be back home.